So if we're talking about the surface area of a cylinder, the cylinder is like a pop can, right? Okay. So it has a circle on top and a circle on the bottom. And then it has the, the kind of the wraparound part. So this would be a picture of a cylinder right here. It's like a pop can or a, or a soup can or something. And so the circle, the top and the bottom circle, we can understand what they look like. And here's the, the top and the bottom, let's say, right? Now, what you may not know or you may not really um, understand yet is that the wraparound part, even though it's curved, when you, if you were to cut it along the side there and you were to flatten it out on the table, it would look like a perfect, perfect rectangle. So it would look like this. And so the height of the can right here would be this height right here. So the tricky part is how do I find this length right here all the way to over there? And this is actually, remember that when it was in the can, it went all the way around the edge of the, the top. And so this length in blue here is the exact same length as, whoops, the length all the way around the circle. <laughs> wow, that's terrible. So what's the length of the uh, distance around a circle? It's called the circumference. the circumference, that's right. Circumference, and that's what this, where the C comes from. So the formula for a circumference of a circle, anybody remember that? It should be, uh, you should have seen this one already. Thank you very much. 2 times pi times the radius. Or, uh, what? That's pi times d, the diameter. Okay? Same thing. If you're given the radius, you can use that one. If you're given the diameter, whatever. 2 pi r. So this is the one that I always remember. 2 pi r. That always works. So that's the length. And, and if we're, we're going to find the area of this wraparound part, you're going to go 2 pi r times h. So 2 pi r times h, 2 pi r h. That's going to be the surface area of the wraparound part of a cylinder, OK? So that's how you find the surface area of a cylinder. Let's do one quick example. And let's go to build your skills question here and do this as an example. So it says find the surface area of a cylindrical tank. And of course, uh, uh, cylinder, right? Cylindrical is the adjective describing something. Uh, so this is like a cylinder-like tank, right? It's cylindrical. It's a funny word. But a cylindrical tank that has a radius of 1.5 meters and a height of 5 meters. So it would be a good idea for you to practice your drawing of cylinders. And what you do is you draw an oval, so not a full circle, because we're looking at it kind of from the side. You're drawing this picture. Draw an oval shape and then do two lines from the side, from each side. Go down, same length. And then draw half of the oval down here. So it's like this half, OK? And that gets you a pretty decent cylinder, OK? And then we can fill stuff in, like a radius of 1.5. So th remember, the radius is, oh, come on. The radius is the distance from the middle to the edge. So that's going to be 1.5 radius. And then the height is 5 meters. So the height here is and we'll just remember the units for later okay meters squared is going to be our, our answer is going to be a meter squared so we'll just remember that all right you with me you with me okay so the the surface area of a cylinder is going to be surface area for a cylinder and whoever you want to write that i don't really care sa i just want to do cyl cylinder is going to be now it's we, we should probably should do the top and the bottom so let's do two pi r squared, because that's two circles, the two the areas of the two circles. The other circle is back behind. It's on the bottom, right? So it kind of looks like this, right? It's on the bottom. So we'll do 2 pi r squared plus the wraparound part. And I, I just mentioned that the wraparound part is going to be the, the circumference times the height. So that is 2 pi times the radius times the height. So that is your formula for the surface area of a cylinder. 2 pi r squared, top and bottom, and then 2 pi r, which is the circumference of the, of the circle that's on top or the, and the bottom, times the height, 2 pi r h. So let's fill this in real quick. Surface area here, cylinder is 2 times, and your pi is 3.14159, so on. You can use your whole button there if you can. The radius is given as 1 
0.5. We're going to do that squared. Plus 2 times your pi again. If you're writing it out, it's something like this. And then r, which is 1.5. And then the height, which is 5. So you just multiply those together. So what do we get? Let's just do that. I'm going to do that real quick here. Okay, so, so I just did this on my calculator here, and uh, if you want to do it all at once, you can. Just be, able to be real careful with your brackets and stuff like that, okay? So you can do this first one, write the number down, and then do the second one, write the number down, and add them. But yeah, you should get something like 61.26, uh, 61.26 meters squared. If you round it out to 61.3, that's perfect. It's fine, too. All right, questions about that? Anybody have questions about that one? All right.